Your Mike Rogers please. will come now out now and make Colorado. his first appearance of the spring. Mike Rogers. Things not looking and very Arno. good so far in this one, but we're to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. In for strike two. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location. The one two just off the end of the bat it's a foul ball and he'll stick around a ball and two strikes here it is swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out nice two seam fastball there you don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving so that one must have had some real good late life. Now batting. Standing in now, Dave Doby fouled off. Dobie. One for two in the ball game thus far. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. One run, six hits, no errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Oh, look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. So two away for the D-backs here in the sixth. And up next, the former catcher-turned-utility man, Blake Swihart. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Yeah, Matty, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. Comes set with the 0-1. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. Ready with another 0-2. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. They still trail it here, three to one. Ladies Clark Newhan will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ball. Ladies Mike Rogers will come on and get some work now as he makes his second Rogers. appearance so far this Number spring. Danny Chavez will pinch Number hit here, five. and he's the potential Danny tying run. Chavez. Good Rogers. downward action there, and it's 0-1. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Well, now the Mariners get some action in the bullpen as a left-hander's begun to get loose. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. 
Omar Narvaez will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Narvaez rolled slowly down the third baseline. And there are two away now. Pinch hitting for Seattle. Number 21, Jermaine Gustafson. And he offers at the circle change and misses 0-1. Rogers, only 20 years old, he was selected in the 15th round back in the draft of 2019. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Gustafson, a native Oregonian. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. The 0-2 once more. And another foul ball. The next 0-2. Skied into straightaway right. Blackman is under it. And the inning is over. Ladies One, two, three, go the Mariners. They still... Your Greg Dempsey will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look... You're Mike Rogers enters now, from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Rogers. Digging in, Chris Taylor. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Fastball in there for a called strike. Taylor. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. Tried to go with the nasty backdoor breaking ball right there. Good job by the batter to take that pitch. Work the count even. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Dahl ranging back. Still ranging back. Gone! I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. 0 oh 1, here it comes. Line to the right side. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Settling in now, Corey Seeger. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And now hold everything here as it looks like a balk has been called. And that one might have been a little ticky tack, if you ask me. And hang on, it looks like a balk will be called here, and that's going to move the runner up 90 feet to third with still nobody out. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. So here's the cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger, and their runners at the corners now. As a manager, you never really want to put a man on by a hit-by-pitch, but you absolutely hate to have it happen when it loads the bases. Now the pitcher is looking a little shaky, and the threat of a big inning, it's very real. Oh, and he nails his third consecutive batter. Get him out of here. Tommy Kingley is summoned in the toughest situation. Now pitching for the Rockies. Number 50, Tommy. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four outs saved job well done nine to one is the way this one ends 
The Los Angeles Dodgers led this game from the third inning on and never waited. player receives the check-in from one of his coaches. A pitcher is encouraged to keep looking for improvement. manager confronts his pitching staff about an unacceptable team statistic. Coach presses a player to keep raising the bar on the development of his signature skills. manager checks in with his ball club. A disappointing notice is given. This player's visit to the show was short-lived. He will return to AAA and rejoin the line of players waiting to be called up to the big stage.
An agent checks in with a client currently in the miners. After a blown save, this reliever gets a pick-me-up from his pitching coach. The manager confronts his pitching staff about an unacceptable team statistic. A manager checks in with his ball club. Players informed that he is being sent back down to double A ball.
Sometimes the road to the show can be a long and winding one. player receives the check-in from one of his coaches. This minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization are keeping tabs on them. player receives the check-in from one of his coaches. This minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization are keeping tabs on them. This minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization
In the minor leagues, a lost season is never fully lost because any situation can be a teaching opportunity. The player receives a check-in from one of his coaches. Late in the season and way up in the race, a team is reminded not to take its eye off the ball. With the team's chances hanging by a thread, this skipper calls for a last stand. A manager addresses his team before a pivotal series. With the season's outcome coming down to a final series, a manager chooses his words carefully. An unexpected turn.
And just like that, a player must pull up roots and move on to the next destination. A major league manager welcomes the club's new acquisition. It's no secret this player had some differences with his former club. But this staff will make up their own mind about him. In this game, change can come swiftly and unannounced. The player is embracing the change that the sudden trade has imposed on him. Players don't always take it so well. <laughs> 